Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And today, in Jurassic Park, we are going to be taking on the greatest of horrors from the Egyptian era, the Pyramid, which apparently has at least one spider that's already mad at me. I didn't even do anything yet. Come on. It's not like I went in and was like, oh, hey, let me punch you with an arrow spider, like I'm doing with this fella. He has every right to be unhappy with me. He, he can afford to be displeased. He earned it. I hit him in the face with an arrow. This guy, I hit him with a shovel because I didn't even care enough to hit him with a freaking sword. I was like, I'll do what I want. How is that not a trap, bitches? Really, bitches? Laziest sand trap ever. That's fine. I'm sure I've got another one of those. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and smack this guy with a sword until he feels better. Oh, look, he feels better already. I can tell by that chime. Seems to be all manner of items inside of this here. Oh, a clock. That'll come in handy. But otherwise, I think that we might be better off uh, hitting this fella in the face until he leaves us alone. Hey, hey. Busy here. Busy here. We are in hardcore mode. Those hits count. Whoa! Okay, this is interesting. When you dig sideways, these mines here, these shafts, seem to actually lead into sand. This is very, very similar to the situation in which I died last time. So I'm going to be extra on my toes and alert. I will avoid activating any blaze spawners and fall into my death, is what I'm hoping. I've got like a million torches with me, and I got a little bit of a thing where I can hit these fellas with these tools and they'll die. It's a pretty good thing I got going on. Let's go ahead and get that bone out of there and of course I did not bring a second shovel but I will take these extra torches and get rid of that. So where was I? Torching it up. Okay lots of light. Now I know that the spawners were randomized in each area of the map and so while, like, the last one might have had blazes, this one might have creepers or something worse -ers. I don't know what's worse -ers. But let's just go ahead and make sure everything is super well lit before we activate, like, a million gas coming through. Now, this, to me, looks like a sealed-off tomb or something. Or just a mine. Yeah, this is a big, boring mine. So we will ignore that, and we will aggressively follow down here. What we got down here? Got some stairwells. We got some creeper faces. Hey, co -co -co creeper face. That's right. You're more like sword face. You have more in common with a swordfish than a TNT. Because of me and me. Well, mostly just me. But you get the idea. So, running around, torching everything like there is a riot going on here. Lighting everything up, leaving no room for spawners. I don't see any spawners yet. These all seem to be naturally occurring creatures, which is fine by me. Oh, that's okay. I didn't really like that floor much anyway. Oh, good, there's a pit down below. That possibly saved me some time, you know, proving that there was a pit there. In the meantime, let's let that skeleton have sufficient time to shoot that creeper. Come on. How, why is he still chasing me? That's fine. I will show you your own death. It looks a lot like arrows. We got this walkway up here I still need to explore. Whole bunch of good stuff in there. We can come back for that. Loot is not our primary objective at this point, unless it's magical or awesome. Or watermelons or cookies. We'll take those things. Okay. So, there seems to be a slime chunk here that we are directly above. And I can plant a torch as low as that. But it's hard to get much of a good idea of what's going on down there. Okay. Well, I'm thinking that my best bet here is going to be to pull the slime out this way and then just run down that hallway with reckless abandon. Just like, everybody's like, where's your recklessness? And I would say, I abandoned it along the side of the road. I put it in a basket and left it by the convent. That is where my recklessness is gone. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Yeah, that's right. You guys are going to be turned into little fellas. And then the little fellas will be turned into slime balls. 
which are a delicacy in many countries and are kind of looked down upon in the United States because we like all our food fried and you can't really fry slime because then it's just kind of crusty and it's no longer slime. Slime is graded as slime based on its consistency rather than its uh, composure, I guess one might say. Oh, hey, a zombie, I'm going this way. Oh, hey, other guy, I'm going this way. Oh, hey, another guy. Wow, I haven't really recorded much for the last three or four days, and I'm kind of feeling hyper. I'm like, woo, got all this recording energy that's been stored up. I'm like a recording capacitor, a record capa re capacitor, re capacitor. Oh, hey, another thing, this one has lights. That, that's probably the other room that I just came out of. Oh, no, that guy has arrows. We will flee from him. And quickly find that that is not a long-term solution. Wow, but it's a surprisingly good short-term solution. Whoa! Okay, so we are now in a room full of skeletons. And that is not ideal. Wow, this pyramid is just insanely big. Like... I could be like double speeding fast and talking up this. I should be talking super slow from this point in time. So that way I can double speed it and, you know, be okay. Nope. Nope. Not me. Not today. Nope. Sorry, fellas. Whoa. Okay. So, real quickly, let's just polish off these two fellas. I was hoping to get them into a crossfire situation, and that does not seem to be happening. I am in hardcore mode, so I forget how much damage I am taking. I should deal with this problem directly. Okay, so let's go check out that little creeper hole that he made and see if that exposes any new horrors below. Okay, yeah, this whole place is just huge, it appears. Which does not bode well for me. Or my incredible amount of torches that I've already expended. Golden apple, I'll take it. Let's see what we got over here. Wow, a lot of mushrooms in this place. How big is this room, Vit, or building, Vit? It's like, this is just like one of the largest spaces I've seen in a super hostile map. Compass, bunch of armor. Well, I should really just probably be picking up lights and nothing but lights at this point. Now, a bunch of these had a hole type thing in the middle of them that I could theoretically use to take down to explore other areas. Okay, so back here, somehow that slime has reconstituted itself or a new slime has spawned. I find this one equally easy to ignore and will do so imminently. So this hole here, whoa, that was probably not the best way to explore it. This seems to be another set of big empty rooms that are otherwise interconnected but not necessarily containing anything of huge, imminent interest. Okay, so we got different colored mushrooms than on the floor above, which is good if I'm trying to make food and not starve through here. But really, I'm just running out of lights. Ooh. I'm going to have to create an exit back up out of this place and... Come back when I'm better prepared. Which is like absolutely insane. And I hear spiders. And slimes. Well that was adorable. Thank you the slime. I appreciate your enthusiasm for my death. I equally appreciate your foolish inability to actually achieve your goal. That was also kind of funny. I have returned with a little bit of extra firepower in terms of torch light. If you consider a torch made of fire in, you know, Minecraft, which I believe technically they are, you know, that's how I would describe them, as the bringers of fire, or the carriers of fire. If fire were a disease, torches would be patient zero, and patient one, and patient, you know, every other number. It's a number line, people. It goes on a while. I did everything right. Why aren't things working the way I would have liked? It's like there's some sort of life lesson here about about failing or something. I'm not really sure. This might have been a metaphor at one point, but now it's just kind of a horrible stairwell with a creeper nearby. Fleeing! The creeper's not fleeing. I think he's technically attacking. Well, 
I heard a zombie real close in my headphones. Like it might have been in the room, it sounded so close. That was kind of unnerving. Arguably, it was incredibly unnerving. So, we put some extra lights in along here. What do we see? Not much, unfortunately. So, is there a good place for me to... Dang it, hey, slime, jump right into there. Yay, good job. Are these silverfish blocks? No, okay, good. So, I might try and descend along this wall here. And maybe use that to my advantage, since I can just knock out the blocks and then have a way back up. Slime skip. Ah, silverfish! Okay, new plan. Burn everything. Ah! Now I'm hitting them with my compass. Wow, I'm the dumbest guy ever. Okay, so... That plan is out. We are abandoning. I repeat, we are abandoning that plan. New plan, I think, might be to just golden apple this. We are going to eat a golden apple and then jump down and then flee. Why are we not fleeing faster? Flee faster. Creeper. Spider. Zomber. Dead ender. Oh, wait, no. Exit. Other zombers. If this drops down another level, I'm just going to be kind of in shock and awe. I will be just completely... Okay, so what do we got here? That room seems to go that way. That's fine. We are burning torches, though. Which, I guess, is their intended purpose. Okay, good. There's a pit in the middle of this room. There's a chest as well. We're probably going to want to light up around the edges and then go back and kill the creatures inside. Not inside the chest, but inside the room. Other torches. Okay, excellent. We have determined there are only three creatures in here, and they are particularly susceptible to being smashed in the face with arrows. See what I did there? Uh, well, I didn't really use the scientific method. But I was thinking about the scientific method the other day, like how essentially what you have to do is, you know, form a hypothesis and then create an experiment to test that hypothesis. And I realized, wouldn't it be neat if there was some element of, like, faster than light travel, for example, that is essentially on the quantum, like, there's a quantum principle that governs it that is uh, negated or made impossible by the act of forming a hypothesis, just essentially the same way that we can observe something. Dang it, silverfish blocks everywhere. The same way that certain things where once observed, they become um, they become changed somehow. Like, essentially, by hypothesizing something at the quantum level, it just becomes impossible to have happen. Okay, I think that that is a spider spawner there. I'm, are these baby spiders or big spiders? Either way, there's like a million of them. And so, this room... This might not be the way down. What I might want to do, actually, is have a creeper blow up a bunch of these silverfish blocks. Hey, right here. Right here, fella. Right here. Well, I was... Yeah, that's... That's pretty much it. Oh, this is in no way better. Oh, what I need is a creeper to blow up along one of these walls here, actually. So that way I can use that to my advantage, because I can then climb down the wall. Creeper. Any creepers. Any creeper. Okay, you're a slime. I don't like you. A creeper or enderman or something blew up here at some point. Hey, you're a creeper. Hey, blow up near the wall. Near the wall. Near the wall. Near the wall. Okay, so we are going to come back and investigate that once we have killed off this other fella. And eating this to make sure that we don't actually die down here. Because I will feel mighty stupid. Okay, you know what? I already feel mighty stupid because that did not work at all. He did not blow up enough of this to be helpful to me. Dang it, creeper. But somehow this part is not silverfish. So the creeper is forgiven. Okay, creeper. You know what? You won that round. 
of my heart. What do we got in the middle here? That looks like a spider spawner to me. Although it's hard to say without proper tests being ran. Dang it. I'm just not doing great at this stairwell down thing. Is that a spawner? That sure looks like a spawner. Hello, ever creeper ever. You guys probably would like me to have less torches. And good news, I'm already running out. Okay, that's a creeper spawner. I think that this was a good first stab at this dungeon. And now, I'm, now that I know what I'm dealing with, which is large falls and uh, lots of spiders and stuff, I can effectively go determine what tools I need to take this place realistically, which I think are going to be buckets of lava and water, so and a lot of ladders. So I'm going to go on a supply run, but until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. I almost fell right there. I almost just jumped to my immediate stupid death. Guys, come on! I'm trying to... Uh, I signed off already. I'm trying to... Uh, leave me alone. You guys are jerks. You think you're so cool with your bows and your arrows and your... Whoa, lots of yous. I got golden apples and I'm not afraid to use them. I mean, these things are incredible. They are the forbidden fruit. For a reason. They offer me self-awareness and an understanding of what sin is.